Greetings world, boy Blackout once again. How are y'all doing? Countless times we hear and say phrases that like make absolutely no sense and till you break it down and you break it down you're like wow that's really stupid or wow like that's really confusing or wow that's really disgusting. This video is about 14 phrases that we use that make no sense. Phrase number one, I'd fuck the shit out of her. That's right, because we all want to have sex with a girl until her bowels implode and she's forced to evacuate her bowels on our beds. Number two, holy shit. What is that, like the equivalent of Jesus Christ taking a number two or God taking a number two or the Holy Spirit taking a number two? Just saying. Number three, holy fuck. So angels are having orgies in heaven now? Really? I can't wait to get there then. Number four, niggas ain't shit. No, actually, I know some very successful niggas. Denzel Washington, Jamie Foxx, Russell Simmons, Michael Jordan, Wesley Snipes, OJ Simpson. Huh? Oh, cut out the last two. Wesley Snipes and OJ Simpson lost their successful status once they got locked up. Number five, money over bitches. Okay, a lot of people use this phrase, and I mean, yeah, money is the motive or whatever, but think about it like this. Without bitches, there's no reproduction. Without reproduction, there are no people. Without people, there's no one to spend the money. So maybe we should reevaluate that phrase just a little bit. Number six, easy as taking candy from a baby. I don't know what baby you try to take candy from, but that shit is hard. Taking candy from a baby is harder than trying to microwave a whole chicken. Yep. Only 17 more hours. No baby. Number seven, I slept like a baby. So you woke up every three hours demanding for your mother's breast milk. Number eight really applies when you're looking for something. It's in the last place that you looked. Obviously, I'm not gonna keep looking after I find it. Yo, what are you looking for? My keys, but they're right around your neck. I know, but I gotta keep looking for them. Number nine. I could care less. The correct way to say it is I couldn't care less. If you couldn't care less, then the subject you're talking about has no importance. But if you could care less, that means that the person has at least a little bit of importance to you. Number 10, happy as a clint. First of all, I don't know anybody that even uses that term or phrase. So for the person that suggested this, you are no longer a reliable source, so I'm terminating our partnership. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. How do you determine the emotions of a clam? Do you just have a conversation with it? Hey clam, how are you doing today? I'm okay. Oh really? Cause you sound as depressed as Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. Number 11, when the shit hits the fan. Right, cause we all stand in front of fans and just throw shit at them. Alright, I know that one made sense, but I'm thinking literal, like if you actually did it, okay, I'll, I'll chalk that one off, that one makes sense. Number 12, hit the ground running. This reminds me of an army movie where like the troops are riding in a helicopter and they hop out of the helicopter and they start running. Hit the ground running makes a lot of sense. Number 13, dry as a nun's cunt. First of all, I don't know anyone who's ever said that phrase. None of my friends have ever said that and nobody that I know has ever said that phrase. Apparently Wheezy is the only person that can prove or disprove this statement since he can turn nuns to tricks. So unless your name is Dwayne Carter, then you have no claim to this and you can't use this term. But then again, Catholic priests are known for being pedophiles. So maybe there is some truth to this statement. And number 14, can I borrow a sheet of paper? Hey, can I borrow a sheet of paper? Yeah, sure. 
Thanks. Yeah, no problem. But um, make sure that you use pencil because I'm gonna need you to erase all that stuff at the end of class and give me the paper back. And that, my friends, is a list of 14 phrases that we use that don't make any sense to me. I mean, I don't know if they made sense to you. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to my channel. S share this video with a friend. Anyways, get black out. I'll see y'all later. Oh yeah, and as for the music Yo, stuff, um, I'm coming up with a lot more stuff. It's summertime, so uh, I'm about to come drop a whole bunch of stuff. I'm trying to do at least two songs a week. And if you didn't see my last video, I'll have it in an annotation like right here. So click on it right there, and it's act like, let me know what you thought about it. It's right. We don't right, care about right, the right. price tag. Sorry, Nicki Minaj. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to bite. Like Drizzy said, I'd be up right there. But um, yeah, if it, I, my free verse to Black and Yellow. Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, thumbs up, the subscribe, uh, share. It. All right, anyways, you guys, be blessed. Blackout, signing out. And every year after that, Greg Jennings.